Hi everybody, this is Lee. This is our second week of our Gathering Together for RE videos, and I'm so glad that you could be here again today. Today we're going to start with our sound meditation, um, and then do some movement and visualization. And then I'm excited to show you my family's tradition that we do um, every equinox, um, because this week is the autumn equinox, the first day of autumn, and um, it's a day of ba bringing balance into our lives. So let's begin with our sound and see how long you can hear this and just feel yourself settling and grounding into the earth as you listen for this vibration. We'll take some deep breaths together. I love how that makes me feel. I just feel so peaceful after taking some time to breathe. So thank you for doing that with me. And now I want you to get up or stay seated as I am, but if you'd like to stand, now's a good time to stand up. And I want you to show me how you're feeling with a movement. So it could be tired and your movement is slow and cozy. Or you could be really, really excited and have lots and lots of bubbly energy. Or it might be somewhere in between. You might be feeling sad today. So any of your feelings are welcome. And I would love to see a movement or even a still pose of how you're feeling right now. So I am feeling a little bit flowy like this. This is my movement. I'm feeling like ready, like maybe I'm gonna add in some hand motions. I'm ready for anything and feeling like that. How are you feeling? So now, after you show me that motion, I want you to imagine that you are in one of your favorite places in the world. If you'd like to close your eyes and think about one of your favorite places to sit, maybe on the beach, maybe by a stream, maybe under a really good climbing tree, anywhere that you feel really special, that's like a beautiful spot. Maybe you find really amazing things there that make you just say, wow, this place is so amazing, so wonderful. Think about that place and imagine yourself sitting there. And now I want you to make a movement of how you feel in that place. So my movement is like this, where I'm just so relaxed. I imagine myself sitting by a little stream in my hometown and I just could take a nap in the sun. So what's your movement? And I'm excited because this week I'm asking you guys to share pictures of a special place that you have in your life so that I can see where you really like to be. So hopefully this week you'll have time to find one of your special places. And if you don't have a particular special place, then just go outside and find a comfortable place to sit under a tree or by, by, by some water. And I hope that you'll have time to make some artwork or write a poem or maybe do a movement in that place or even think up a whole dance of how that place makes you feel. And think about how wonderful it is to be there and all the ways that you bring wonder into your life, like finding beautiful stones or shells or insects or animals or even like the patterns on uh, tree bark or the veins of a leaf of a tree. All of those things that are just so full of wonder and help you feel renewed and refreshed 
just like last week we talked about how water can be so refreshing when you're so hot and muggy and sticky and sweaty and when you find a beautiful place in the world that's kind of like like water washing over you like just cleansing and refreshing and especially when you're having a hard time or you're feeling sad or you're feeling really overwhelmed um, and out of balance like when we've gone too far in one direction and we feel rushed or or upset that's when we really need those special places to bring that sense of wonder to wash over us and we're like oh, feel just settled and more in balance so I'm excited to see what your special spot is I hope that you can send me a picture of it or a picture of what you create when you're there and I have a song to sing for that special spot it's called pick yourself a power spot and I sang it last year so some of you might have learned it from me last year it's a really fun song and I hope that you can learn it and sing it in your special place it goes like this and it's fun to make some uh, percussion movements if you have shakers or if you just want to clap your hands it's that kind of a song so it goes like this pick yourself a power spot grab a spoon and a cooking pot bring air bring fire bring water bring earth in you a new universe will birth in you a new universe will birth so that is our song for the week. And I'm excited to see what you create in your special spot, that universe that you are creating inside of yourself, that hopefully you'll share a little bit of it with us. So now to celebrate the autumn equinox and to celebrate this wonderful world that we live in, I'm gonna move you back because I need to show you this work spot and I have with me an egg. And every year on the autumn equinox and the spring equinox, my kids and I get out an egg. So this is actually a local egg from the Sosnowski's farm. And what we do is we balance the egg on its end. And I was told when I was a kid that you could only do this on the autumn equinox and the spring equinox when the earth is in perfect balance. So this is a really great way to practice patience and mindfulness because it takes a lot of patience to do this. And for the younger kids, you can put a piece of cloth like a napkin underneath the egg and that helps a little bit with the balancing and so this is cool because it's the the egg you're like encouraging the egg just to settle like the yolk inside is settling down just like when we go to our special spots we can just settle we can feel all our emotions that were tumbling around inside us you can feel them start to settle. Just like this egg. And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes you try it with a new egg, see if that'll work. And sometimes you just have to walk away and come back later, which is a really good lesson in life, you know? Sometimes you try something and it just doesn't work. And sometimes it does. So we just are patient with that process. And I hope that I can get it to work for you or else I'll put in an extra little video at the end when I do get it to work. Or maybe this year one of my kids will get it to work. Usually every equinox we can do it. So today right now might not be the time that these eggs want to balance. Nope, doesn't look like it's going to work today. But I'm excited to see if it works for you. If it does, you can send me a picture. And I'm excited to see your special spots and what you create there. So I hope that your day is full of wonder at the beauty that's all around us 
and that you can find some balance on this autumn equinox week. All right, take care, everybody. Thanks so much for being here today. I'll see you next week. Bye. Hi again. So after about 15 minutes of trying at the end of that video, I finally did it. Here's my egg. It's standing up in perfect balance. It just took a lot of patience on my end and just helping myself settle and now that egg is standing up. So happy autumn equinox everybody. Good luck with your eggs. I can't wait to see pictures. Bye.